Hi, I'm Connor. Trevor. I'm Allison. I'm Kate. And I'm Kristen. Hello, my name is Morgan Rice Pavlock. I'm currently the physician recruiter at Cayuga Medical Center. I'm here today to meet with you because you've been chosen to be the next physician recruiter at the facility, and I'd like to give you an orientation about what it takes to become a physician recruiter at the hospital. So, in going through the process, the first thing that will happen when you're in search of a physician is somebody will come to you with requesting a new physician. Once this has happened, you have to meet with the senior leadership team, including the president and CEO, John Rudd, as well as the vice president of medical affairs, Dr. David Evelyn. When talking with them, you'll be finding out if you have the financial means to support another physician in this department, as well as to see if the community actually has a need for another doctor in this area of practice. Um, you'll also be meeting with the department members of that, um, of that specialty to see what their requirements might be in terms of having um, in terms of having another doctor, what schools they might be interested in having the doctor coming from, as well as um, the level of experience that they have. So you'll be running a search on practice match once you've talked with all the necessary individuals, and we'll be working in the pinpoint database. So as you can see, the pinpoint database, um, you'll find along the top tab line of the website. So when running a full search, you have the ability to enter a, a majority of the criteria that you might be gathering for the department as well as the senior leadership team. So once you've entered into the full search, you can type in the specialty up in the top, and up in the upper right hand corner, and when you type in the specialty, it'll come up with related specialties in that area of expertise. You have the opportunity to select those or you, it's not necessary. It's important with Cayuga Medical Center that the individuals do have a U.S. citizenship or a green card, as individuals with visas have a lot of difficulties in maintaining their licensure and staying in the area for the extended period of time that we would need them. The next important thing is to make sure that when you're running your search, you're narrowing down the possibilities of individuals by selecting that you would like them to be interested or have ties in the New York area. That way we're only reaching out to the people that are actually interested and not um, tens of thousands of people that we will be getting responses with saying no thank you. So after you've defined those needs, depending on the area of specialty, it may be required that an individual has a fellowship or is currently practicing because of the level ex of experience that we're requesting. So you typically will have to just request resident or practicing, but depending on the level of experience, they might require a further specialty, which would require a fellowship. So after you have selected all of those, you can now narrow down your list of candidates in which you will compose an email to send a broadcast email. So after you send the broadcast email, asking them if they're interested in the area and if they would like more information, um, you'll hear back from the potential candidates that are interested. And once you've looked through their CVs, you can determine whether or not you'd like to have them come visit. If you're interested and they're interested, coordinating a visit for, that will work for the senior leadership team, as well as the department members, and yourself, and the individual, and their family. It's very important. Arranging transportation is provided by the hospital, so you'll set up the airlines, you'll set up the flight times, and hopefully be able to adjust to bring family members in if they would uh, if they would like to have somebody come with them. Um, the next most important thing is setting up a place for them to stay if they are traveling from distances and will be staying for quite a few days. So arranging the hotels and meetings with the department members and senior leadership team is a very important aspect of bringing in the candidate and making them feel interested and comfortable in the facility. So once you have met with them um, and their families and discussed everything with the senior leadership team and the members of the department, you can make your offer. So typically in making the offer, you would send out your thank you letter to them for visiting and send them a list of the benefits, a list of um, the call that they would be on, as well as the amount of compensation that they will be making. Um, when you send that email, hopefully they'll get back to you in a timely manner and setting up an additional visit 
might be required, which again would follow everything after the practice match database. Um, we will be having a training session that will begin Monday, December 7th at 10 a.m. So I will see you in the office and thank you so much for meeting with us today.